Hello students, I am going to bring you your first biology chapter and we are going to talk about Kingdom Monera. I hope you find it interesting and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now coming to Kingdom Monera, what all we are going to study today in that is the type of organisms included in it, how are they categorized, how do they live and what are the structures and all of these. So basically it mainly consists of the bacteria and the cyanobacteria. Just remember that bacteria were the first organisms which came on this earth around 3.5 billion years ago and for nearly 2 billion years there were only these organisms which were there on the earth. Now most of them are unicellular. Now actinomycetes and cyanobacteria they may be multicellular because they have got flagella and these flagella it might be like branched giving them the multicellular structure but still they cannot be seen with the help of naked eyes. Now we are going to study about the structure of these bacteria. These bacteria have got the outermost layer which is known as a cell wall. Now whenever we see the word wall, we need to remember that wall is generally dead. And this wall or any wall is always there to protect us. Just like the wall of your house. It is protecting the living things which are inside. Same way the cell wall protects the cell and it protects the things which are living and which are inside. It is made up of peptidoglycans, polysaccharides, proteins and lipids. Inner to this is the plasma membrane which is a living membrane and it is made up of proteins and lipids. Now, How do you remember the composition? P L A S M A these are the spellings of plasma. So the first two letters P stands for the proteins and L stands for the lipids. This is how we remember. Now inside these structures which are having the membrane are missing. These organelles or these structures with the membrane are missing like endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria and we have got the other organelles which are there without the membrane. For example, DNA is there. No cell can survive without the DNA. It is the living thing which is there in the cell. Now the DNA is a chromosome which is double helical structure. It is there in a clear space which is known as a nucleoid. Now some of the ribosomes may be present and they are 70s. There are also mesosomes. Now mesosomes are basically pinched off from the cell wall and they have got a wall. They are the only structures with a wall which are present in these bacterial cells. Now another thing that we need to remember is that there are certain DNA rings which are present in the bacteria which are known as the plasmids. And these rings along with the chromosomes they will duplicate, they will replicate and sometimes they contribute to the F factor or the male factor in the bacteria and that bacteria during the reproduction acts as a male bacterium cell. So now the movement of this bacteria is basically with the help of small structures which are there, they are pili and there are other structures also which may be whip like which are known as the flagellum. So this is all about the structure of the bacteria. Now this is the diagram showing the structure of the bacteria. Here the outermost layer is the cell wall which is dead. Inner to this is the plasma membrane which is living. And this is the double helical structure of the DNA. These are small granules which are the volatin phosphate compound granules. Now these dots that we see are the cytoplasm. And this is the flagellum or the whip like structure which helps in the motion. Small granules are there which are known as the ribosome granules. So this is all about the structure of the bacteria. Now based on the kind of the nutrition that these bacteria are taking, we categorize them into four types. The first is the autotrophic. Split the word, break it into two. First is auto and then is trophic. Auto means self, trophic means food. Self food, मतलब जो खाना अपना खुद से बनाए उनको हम autotrophic बोलते हैं. So there are bacteria which are making their own food with the help of photosynthesis because they might be having chlorophyll. Coming to the next is your parasitic kind of bacteria. ये bacteria अपना खाना खुद से नहीं बनाते. They are the parasites. They depend upon the host for their food and that is why they are known as the parasitic bacteria. Another are the symbiotic bacteria. These bacteria are the ones which are depending upon the others but there is, they are not harming them. There is a mutual give and take. And how is that possible? That is possible because they are giving something to the others, organisms and they are taking food from them. Now coming to the other type is the saprophytes. 
Saprophytes are those which are depending upon the decaying food matter for their food or the organic matter for their food. So this is what we need to remember. Now coming to the respiration is that there are two types of respiration in the bacteria. First is the aerobic and second is the anaerobic. As the word indicates aerobic means air. Air mein kaun si aasi cheez hai jo humko achhi lagti hai that is the oxygen. That is the purity of the air. So those which are depending upon the oxygen of the air they are known as aerobic and those which are not depending upon that they do not need oxygen to respire they are known as anaerobic bacteria. Next topic is the reproduction. They have both sexual and the asexual reproduction. This I will explain with the help of a diagram. The reproduction in case of bacteria is by two means. The first is the asexual reproduction which is binary reproduction. In this case the parent bacterium it will divide into two. Firstly the DNA material divides into two and the cytoplasm also divides and then there is a small constriction here by means of which it divides into two cells and these two daughter cells later on they will develop and they will look exactly like the parent cell. So the earlier type of reproduction that we studied was a binary vision in which one bacterium broke into two or it split into two and that is why it was known as a binary vision. Coming to this kind of uh, reproduction in bacteria, this is a sexual reproduction in which two bacteria come together and we call it conjugation and here you can see that there is a tube-like structure which is actually formed by the combination or combining of the pili. Material from one of the cells moves into the another and so this cell from which the material is moving on is the male cell and the other one is the female cell and this is how the reproduction takes place when the nuclear material has equally passed into both of them and that is how they are further propagating or reproducing. So here we have some differences between bacteria and the cyanobacteria. If you see the spellings, the spellings of the bacteria are comparatively smaller as compared to the cyanobacteria and so is the size. So bacteria are smaller cells as compared to the cyanobacteria. Now bacteria generally have the flagella which are missing in case of the cyanobacteria. Generally bacteria they do not do photosynthesis but in case they are green they can do photosynthesis but they never release the oxygen and are therefore known as oxygenic whereas in case of the cyanobacteria they are green in color they are the blue green algae and because of the chlorophyll they do photosynthesis and they also release oxygen and they are known as the oxygenic now sex uh, sexual recombination by means of conjugation is seen in case of the bacteria which is also seen in case of the cyanobacteria so this is all about the differences between the bacteria and the cyanobacteria now there are bacteria some of them may be harmful, however some are very very beneficial to us. Harmful bacteria for example are those that are causing diseases. Now what kind of diseases? Cholera and typhoid. Some bacteria however are very very beneficial. You have curd and there are bacteria which help in the formation of curd. They are the lactobacillus bacteria. Then there are other bacteria also which are helping in forming the proteins in certain leguminous plants. So these bacteria are the rhizobium bacteria. This is present in the roots, nodules of the certain plants. And these plants, what is happening? They are fixing the free nitrogen of the air, converting into ammonia compounds and then finally converting into proteins. And for example, aapke rajma hai, chane hai, these all are leguminous plants, uh, produce of the leguminous plants and they are the ones which are giving us proteins. They are rich sources of proteins. So this is what we need to remember. Now kingdom Monera is divided into three groups. The first is the Archaebacteria, then the Eubacteria and the Cyanobacteria. Archaebacteria are the bacteria which need very little oxygen to survive. And these are of three types. So firstly, it is the methanogenic bacteria. These bacteria are surviving in the place where there is more of methane content, as it is clearly indicated from the name. So it is generally in the sewage or it is in the intestinal tracts of certain animals. The next is thermoacidophilic. Now thermo word means temperature. So wherever there is high temperature, we will find these bacteria there, for example, in case of the hot spring. Coming to the last here is halophilic bacteria. These bacteria are uh, surviving in the place where there is more of salt content. And where do we find salt content? That is in the seawater. So what happens? The sun rays, they are further drying up the sea and concentrating the salt content. And it is here that these bacteria, they thrive or they survive. Now is the eubacteria. That is the second group. 
the eubacteria include all those bacteria other than the cyanobacteria and cyanobacteria we have already studied these are those bacteria which have got chlorophyll they do photosynthesis and they release oxygen so this is all about this topic monera and after this soon i'll be coming up with another video covering your protoctista group and that kingdom would be made even more interesting so children do subscribe to the channel and click the like button so that you don't miss on the notifications see you soon thank you so much children